So this unattractive little doozy is my response to all the people that say that they can't make any of the weapons that I show them how to make because they either don't have power tools or they don't have very much money. So I made an instructional video showing how to make a really powerful bow with hand tools that will end up costing you about $15 and that's including the arrow. So there's really not much to talk about. The bow is PVC, the string is paracord, this handle is just electrical tape and then the arrow shelf is the handle of a milk gallon. Now believe me if I was trying to make a serious bow I wouldn't be chopping up milk gallon handles. This is just to keep it as cost effective as possible but despite being made of basically garbage it is a real working powerful functional bow the draw weight on it is at least 45 pounds but i think it might actually be a little bit more what i'm shooting at is this super dense shipping styrofoam so yeah let's see this thing shoot music is no longer relevant it's got pretty good power as far as i can see still intact so that's good. I think we've established by this point that the bow is pretty powerful so seeing as everybody wants to see me shoot my armor with something I'm going to be testing out the armor that I made and shooting the bow at it and if the arrow survives this then I'm gonna try it out on my fiberglass mask that I also made. Here's something really interesting. I shot the arrow dead center right in between these two plates and it still didn't even go in far enough to do any real damage. I fixed the arrow but this time I wrapped it in tape. Hopefully that'll reinforce it but I don't even know if that'll have any effect on it at all. But whatever, if it breaks I can just fix it again. So I got a pretty good grouping and there's no cracking or full penetration of the fiberglass and steel plates. But I mean, what do you expect? It's fiberglass and steel. Now I'm gonna test the mask. <laughs> that looks kind of hardcore actually. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. It hit right here, it deflected and bounced over the fence. I managed to rip the fletching on that one so Hopefully I can keep on shooting like this. I hit it in almost the same spot except I hit the rivet right here and it just, again, just deflected and shot somewhere over here. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this. So I found it again over my neighbor's fence but the head is broken off but it might be better off that way. I mean we found that the helmet is extremely good at deflecting arrows but the problem with that is me testing in my backyard like this it's a little bit dangerous and I don't want it flinging over a fence and killing a family. But I think that's the end of my testing for today. But in case you saw this little thing right here that almost looks like a dent and you thought that was done by the arrow, it's not. First arrow hit here, second arrow hit here. That's clearly not right there. And if that was a dent, the fiberglass would be splintering. But no, that's just from the molding process. You can go back to the beginning of the video and you'll probably see that there too. So quick recap. The armor is great at stopping arrows. The mask is excellent at deflecting arrows. Due in large part to this ridge that I put in the center of it right here, it makes it so that there's no flat surfaces facing towards the person that you're looking at. So everything just deflects right off of it. So will these things stop bullets? No. It's fiberglass, it's not supposed to, but if all I knew was somebody was hunting me down and they wanted to kill me, if I had no idea what kind of weapon they had, no matter what, I would still rather have a layer of fiberglass and steel between me and them than not. But eventually, if I start making a reasonable amount of money on YouTube, like if you guys help me out by sharing my videos and my channel, then I'll be able to start doing work with Kevlar, and that's when we get up into the big league. So it doesn't just benefit me if you guys share my videos. I'm going to be teaching you how to make armor out of Kevlar. So come on, guys. Help me out. Share the video. Please. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn how to make one of the masks, go ahead and click here. 
If you would like a little more info on the body armor, then click here. And if you'd like to make the bow and arrow, then click here. And remember, if one day you would like to learn how to make Kevlar body armor, then it would help me tons if you would please share this video with as many people as you can. Or just share my channel. Either one, I really don't care. But that's all the time we got for today, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.